Hey guys, it's Daniela, and um, so it's been like literally like forever since I made a video on this channel. Um, I feel like I literally say that in every video, and like every video is like me saying like, why I've been gone, blah blah blah. Um, and like I don't want this to turn into like a life updates channel because like I feel like a channel isn't supposed to like be dedicated to just life updates because like what's the point of that? Um, so I'm just gonna like pretend that like I it hasn't been like six years since I've uploaded on this channel. Not really. It's been more like eight months, but you know, you get my drift. Anyways, I'm gonna pretend like it's like it hasn't been a year since I posted on this channel and um, I'm just gonna make a break time with Daniela video, which I haven't done in a million bajillion zillion years. So um, I'm gonna bring back an old thing that I used to do a lot and I'm gonna do a break time with Daniela and today I'm gonna be telling another barf story because I love telling you stories and this one I'm gonna tell is my most recent one so um, anyways let's get started okay so this happened last year um, and it happened twice last year like not the specific story that I'm gonna tell but like the cause for why I got sick. It happened twice and it is a mistake that I made and it took two times in the span of one year to learn from that mistake. Um, so basically, and also um, the day that I'm posting this video is very important because it is one year since the first time that it happened last year. So um, I think I already told that story in another video but um, this is um, a couple months later, I made the same mistake. So basically, um, I found out that I'm allergic to scallops. And I never realized, like, I've literally gone my whole life not knowing I even had, like, a food allergy. Because I, I don't have any other food allergies. Fun fact about me. But um, I recently discovered that I'm allergic to scallops. And I say recently, I mean when this happened. So, like, um, seven months ago is when this happened. Um, so basically we all went um to a restaurant it was, we were celebrating the end of the semester this was like a couple weeks after school got out but we were just now going to go out to eat to like celebrate like the end of the school year i said the semester but like technically it's the semester and the school year because this was the end of the second semester also known as the end of the school year so anyways we were going out to eat and this was at a seafood place and so basically, um, some people like hate seafood. Um, I like seafood. Like I don't, I don't hate it. I love salmon. Salmon's my favorite seafood. Um, so I'm glad I'm not allergic to salmon. But um, for the most part, like I like seafood and stuff. But scallops, like I'm never touching a scallop again after what this after this happened, and I have good reason for it. So this didn't ruin seafood in general for me. Just scallops. And I'm like allergic to scallops, so like it's a good thing that I'll be never, that I'll never be touching a scallop again. But anyways, so um, this was a seafood place, um, except like I didn't get seafood because like I don't know why. <laughs> um, I got um, a filet mignon, um, but yeah, that's not what caused me to get sick. Basically, my brother got scallops because um, like he like he loves scallops. And so he got scallops, and yeah. So um, then, so now you're probably wondering, well, if well, if I wasn't the one that got the scallops, then how did I still still get sick? Well, basically, what happened was um, my brother and I decided to try each other's food, which on my part was a mistake because I shouldn't have eaten that scallop. I'm looking back on hindsight, and in, in hindsight now, I'm just like don't eat that scallop <laughs> um so anyways so I tried some I tried one of my brother's scallops um and keep in mind I ate like a whole scallop not just like a piece of one but like a whole scallop you know like this like this big like you know like a whole scallop and so but while I'm eating the scallop like I'm literally like getting thoughts that like I probably shouldn't be having it because like I had sort of this gut feeling um sorry I got a notification but I got I, I sort of had this like gut feeling that I didn't follow and I should have followed it 
Um, and I was like, and I thought back to other times that I'd eaten scallops and I, I knew like I had some sort of history of like getting sick when I ate scallops, but I didn't know, like, I don't know why I just wasn't like thinking too much of it. Um, I thought it was just like a big coincidence or something. Cause like somehow like, um, like I don't, I, I didn't eat scallops very often. Like the last time I, I had a scallop before that one time was like a couple months prior, but then before that it was probably years. But like for some reason, for the longest time, I've always had this gut feeling about scallops and apparently it's true. <laughs> like my gut feeling is true, but I've had sort of this gut feeling that scallops make me sick and, um, yeah. And so you would have think you would think that my gut feeling would have um, would have made an impact, and also the time four months prior would have also made an impact on my decision. But I wasn't listening to my gut instinct, and I wasn't also thinking about the other times. And I mean, like I was thinking about it, but I wasn't thinking that it was actually going to happen. Like I was just thinking in my head, like, oh, what if I actually get sick tonight? You know, what if? But I wasn't actually thinking that like I wasn't actually thinking like it was it's actually gonna happen I was just thinking you know how funny would it be or like if that happened or like how much of like that would be a coincidence blah blah, blah. I, I don't know I was just thinking about it but not like thinking that it would actually happen if that makes sense so I'm eating the scallop and I'm having all these thoughts and yeah so then after that like I feel fine like nothing happens I'm like okay you know, um, so then we go back home, blah, blah, blah. Then a few hours later, um, I start to, like, feel sick. Like, I'm, like, basically it's hard to explain because, like, my stomach wasn't exactly hurting, but, like, I sort of had a gut feeling that I was going to get sick. Like, I don't know why, but, um, I sort of felt like I was going to get sick, but it's not like my stomach was hurting. I just felt like I could feel, you know, some stuff coming out, if you know what I mean. Um, and so basically around midnight or like pa past midnight, it was like 1250 or something, almost one o'clock in the morning, I got sick on my bed. <laughs> um, and it wasn't fun. And I went into my parents' room, they cleaned it up, bless their hearts. But um, I went in my parents' room, told them what happened. And then a few minutes later, um, I basically tell my mom, you know, I probably shouldn't have eaten that scallop last night. And then she looks all intrigued and she's like, <gasps> like, she looks all intrigued as if that could be like a possibility as to why I got sick. And, um, like, she just like takes all this in and she's like, you know, that's a good thought. And so later on, I look up, I actually like look it up online because I don't know if it's actually a thing. Like, this is just my gut instinct. I don't know if it's, like, a thing to, that happens to, like, other people that they get sick when they eat, like, certain types of seafood. I look it up, and it's a thing. Like, it's actually a thing. And I have, like, a revelation. Because, like, for all these years, like, I, I don't, like, I mean, not like I eat a scallop very often, but, like, I hadn't had a scallop, like, besides the time four months prior that I had one. I hadn't had a scallop in years, um, but yet for all these years I've had this whole gut instinct about scallops. I don't know why I've had it. I think it was probably like one time and then it happened again recently and then months later it happened again. But like even before it happened the second and third time, I always sort of had this gut instinct and I don't know why, but I've always had it and apparently it's true and I don't know if it's a coincidence that it's true and I've... and. Like, this gut instinct just ended up being true, but, like, it's true. And I looked it up, and I had this, all of a sudden, I had this revelation. Like, this is actually a thing. Like, I'm shook. I am shook to the core. Like, I'm shook it. I'm quaking. Like, this revelation. And then I just make a promise to myself that I'm never going to touch a scallop ever again. And I haven't touched a scallop since, like, to this day. I haven't touched a scallop, I haven't consumed a scallop, and, um, by the way, like, the, so, the reason why I got sick is nothing to do with the restaurant, like, I didn't get food poisoning from the restaurant, um, 
it was purely like I'm 99% sure it was the scallop and it has nothing to do with the way the restaurant prepared the scallop it was just purely the fact that it just doesn't agree with my body like I'm like allergic to scallops um, and the reason I know that is because we we've been to that restaurant like before and the food there is actually really good like don't get me wrong it's really good we went back there recently um, I was very very careful this time to not get to to not have scallops I actually had salmon um, the time we went really recently it was to celebrate the end of last semester so we basically it's like a tradition we go to celebrate the end of the semester so like twice every school year basically but um, the most recent time I went I had salmon it was delicious so like I just want to put out there that it has nothing to do with the with the restaurant um, it's just because I ate a scallop I made a very stupid decision that I shouldn't have made and that resulted in me getting sick and barfing basically um so yeah so i hope you enjoyed this story like somewhat enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did give it a thumbs up anyway if you didn't <laughs> i don't know um and that's pretty much it and i will see you guys the subscribers and viewers in my next video um, hopefully not in six years. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Woo!